Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So obviously from the title, I'm going to be prepping for coronavirus. Um, I don't want to add to like the hysteria because I think that there is a lot of unnecessary hype from the media. But I am a mom and I have someone that I'm responsible for other than myself. So I am looking at the signs that I see around me and I'm going to make a decision and make my actions based off of that so that I have what I need for him in case of an emergency. So basically those signs are in other countries they're having um, quarantines, you have to self quarantine and I think you're able to leave your place but you are limited, You like you want to go out as least as you can. Um, I live in California so it's one of the states with the most cases and um, they're shutting down universities right now. I know Chapman University just got shut down. My friend goes there um, Multiple universities are being shut down um, Like they're not let they're not doing like makeup in Sephora anymore Like there's no makeup. I don't know just a lot of signs are showing me that they are leading to More of a quarantine state. Okay. I'm adding this in really quick. I'm filming it later But another reason why I felt nervous is they shut down the NBA um, and I felt like that was a big, big red flag of like, that's a big deal. So I'm just going to go get some freezer meals. We have toilet paper. I, I'm sure the water, the running water won't be shut off. So like if we're going to have toilet paper, we can like wash our bum in the, in the bathtub. Um, but yeah, lots of signs telling me to just have some stuff on hand. And I think there's nothing wrong with that. You're not paranoid. Um, basically last night I ordered some cloth diapers off of Amazon just in case you know okay so here's the thing people are like making fun of people for buying toilet paper but here's the thing like right now there's a travel ban like that was another sign yesterday they just put a travel ban in place and like where does america get most of its supplies from like other countries so i don't know if they're going to continue shipping product um so might as well be prepared there's nothing wrong with it you know literally i could leave the cloth diapers and return them um if i don't use them so I'm just, that's what I'm doing today. Um, my uncle is a doctor and he's like very involved in the healthcare community. So we get a lot of our like notifications from him. He tells us when we need to worry about stuff, when we don't need to worry about stuff. And um, Shane and I were gonna go to Disneyland on a date tomorrow. And he let us know that we should probably hold off and wait for the next month and see how it plays out. So I really trust him. If he sees stuff going on, he will let us know. Um, I'm not necessarily worried for my life. I'm just more worried about having what we need at our home. So, um, I feel like at the end of this, I'm going to say a little prayer for all us moms out there freaking out. Of course, um, we want to protect our babies and all that stuff. I don't think, and this is just my opinion off of what I see right now, I don't think you should be worried for your life. I don't think it's a life or death um it's not affecting little kids it's affecting older people but we just want to stay safe in the hysteria because i feel like a lot of people in the u.s are not mindful of others um you know so if there's a roll of to if there's a pack of toilet paper people will fight for it instead of split it that's kind of like i think the atmosphere of some people in the united states so um, we're going to go to Trader Joe's right now because I'm just going to get freezer meals. Maybe some lasagnas, some frozen veggies, some um, milk, and just like basic stuff. And then I could freeze some bread. I'm going to get stuff that I could just store just in case. So, let's go to Trader Joe's. Alright, we got bags up here. We got a cute baby right here. And then in my trunk... We got more bags. Let's unload them, Tony man. Okay, we're back. And like, it just feels like such a dismal day. It's raining outside right now, so it's really dark in our house. Like, let me just show you. Like, usually the sun is shining. It feels like a really weird day. So, this is what it, this is what it looks like out our window. It's just super dark. We just got these toys, um, and he's obsessed with them. There you go. Okay, who's ready for my coronavirus Trader Joe's grocery haul? It's not funny. It's not funny. Okay. 
outside. We can't go outside right now because it's raining. Maybe in a little we can put on a jacket and go outside, okay? We're gonna play in here right now. Oh, he got his shovel in his... You wanna go outside? Okay, well, it's about to start pouring. Okay, let's put the groceries away and then maybe we can go outside, okay? Where are you? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna do it on the floor because they're on the floor. We got some lettuce. We got some frozen burritos. Frozen spinach. Frozen broccoli. Frozen blueberries. Frozen fried rice. Frozen lasagna. Like two or three of those. More blueberries. Fresh blueberries. Frozen waffles. Strawberries. Avocado. Oh, honestly, this stuff's really, really nice. Um, it's easy to cook. It's just uh, ground, fresh lean ground chicken. Some bread to freeze. Instant oatmeal. I got a couple packs of those. Pasta. Granola bars. I got a couple of these because they're out of hand soap everywhere, but Dr. Bronner's hand soap. Some brown rice. Eggs. We use these eggs. I got three of these because I um, have been hearing that what they're treating patients with is just vitamin C. So we got some orange juice and some canned food, some peanut butter, and some sweet potatoes because I'm going to boil these and freeze them for all of Trader Joe's coronavirus quarantine Trader Joe's grocery haul. Okay, now it's time to put this all away. And I have a tiny freezer, so we'll see how this goes. All right, that's more like it. That feels refreshing and helps me feel a bit more secure. This is what he was doing while I was putting those away. He put his shovel and his lettuce in his wagon. That is such a good idea, Oliver. That's your lettuce? That is so cute. All right, guys. So, I'm gonna end this video right now, but let's talk a little bit. Let's all take a deep breath. It's gonna be okay. I think the best plan of action, especially for people with little kids at home, is if you can, go get just some frozen stuff. Um, it would never hurt to have extra food and stuff at your house. And um, if they do end up quarantining, I'm sure California is different than a lot of other places right now, but if they do end up quarantining us, at least we have stuff already and we don't have to go when everyone is scrambling to get stuff. So just get um, what you need and I want to do like a little prayer because I know that my chest feels really tight. Just it's crazy how much media we take in and everything. There's so many influences. We hear so many things. So I'm going to do a little prayer. I'm not going to like close my eyes because I feel like that's awkward. But I'll just look off in the distance. I've never like prayed on camera. But if you want to join me, dear God, I just pray that you would help this virus to settle down. That the warm weather would kill it off. I pray that you would help all of us to um, just deal with our anxiety. Lower our fears so that our bodies can be calm and work properly. I pray that you would guide us in our parenting so that we can know what to do and to be prepared in order to take care of our children properly. And I pray over all the families that we would all be healthy and that we would all do what we can and then give the rest to you, God. In Jesus' name, pray. Amen. Okay, that was the first time I ever prayed on camera. But um, yeah, I hope that this doesn't increase your fear, but more like um, tell you what I'm doing in case you want to do it to help you feel more relaxed. I feel more relaxed knowing I have supplies in my house that I need. So yeah, it's going to be okay. We're going to. Hopefully in the next few weeks, we'll be going to Disneyland again and all will be well. Um, thank you so much for watching. I have tons of just content on my channel, sharing my family's life. Um, I just wanna show like real motherhood so that like we can all kinda, you know, just know that we're in this together. Um, if you wanna follow me on Instagram, it's at kristen.lamon. 
and coronavirus 2020.